Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AEM and DevOps tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can install Jenkins on Linux instance which is running in AWS. So before starting this video, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, you can subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's get started. To install Jenkins on AWS, so you should have Linux instance running on AWS. I already have Ubuntu which is running on AWS. If you don't know how to install Ubuntu on AWS, you can watch my video on I button above in this video and then we will connect our ubuntu via ssh using putty and we will install java 8 which is prerequisite for installing jenkins and after we will install jenkins on ubuntu okay then let's get started open the browser let me go to the aws console click on sign into the console here go to the ec2 now click on the link instances here you can see I have two instances of Ubuntu, one is running and one is terminated. So I will use this one which is already running. If you don't know how to create a Ubuntu on AWS, you can watch my video which you can see on the I button. Now click on this Ubuntu. Here you can see the IP address. Just copy this. Copy the IP address. Now go to the putty. Let me open my putty to connect to this Ubuntu. Paste here the IP address and go to the SSH. Here click on auth and here go to the browse and put this ppk file. Click on open. Now click on yes. Login as Ubuntu. Now type Ubuntu and enter. It will authenticate you to this OS. Now we have successfully verified. Now you need to run a few commands over here. I already have those commands ready. So you can pause this video and you can copy all these commands. First, I will take this command sudo apt cat update paste over here and click on enter. This will update my system. Now my system is updated. Let me clear the screen. Now install the Java for installing the Java. We have this command sudo apt install open JDK 8 JDK. Let me copy this and enter here. This will install the Java 8 in your Ubuntu system. Press via button and click on enter. You can see Java has been installed successfully. Let me clear the screen. Type clear and click on enter. Now use this command. Let me copy this command. This will add key to the repository. It says OK. That means command executed successfully. Now use the fourth command which is this one. Let me copy this. This will add the Jenkins repository to the system. Click on enter. This command has been executed. Now update your system using this command. sudo apt cat update. Now after this you need to install Jenkins. For this we have this command. This will install a Jenkins on Ubuntu machine. It will take some time. Just press Y button and click on enter to continue. The command has been executed successfully. Now let's see the status of Jenkins. For that just type service Jenkins status. So you can see it is active. That means the Jenkins has been installed successfully. Now go to the browser. Let's copy the IP address first. Paste here and colon 8080 is the default port of Jenkins. Let's see if it is installed successfully or not. You can see there's some issue. This site cannot be reached because this port is not open. So we need to open this port. So to do that, just go here and click on in the security group. You will see launch wizard 8. Click on the launch wizard. You need to open the port 8080 for this. Select this and click on actions. Go to the edit inbound rules. Here just click on add rule and uh, type here 8080. Keep it custom and uh, keep it 000 for anywhere. And click on save rules. This will open the port 8080 for our Ubuntu. Once this is done, you can go over here again and just click on refresh. Now it should show the Jenkins installed so that you can access it from here. See, now you can see the getting started window. Here you need to unlock the Jenkins. So for that, 
you need to provide the temporary password which you can get from this path just copy this path and go to the putty and here type sudo cat and paste the path it will give you the password you need to copy that just click on enter here you get the password just copy it go to the browser and paste here now click on continue it will unlock the Jenkins now it will ask for the plugins you can select the plugins that you want or you can install a default plugin so let me install suggested plugins so it will install the most commonly used plugins that are used with the Jenkins after this it will take you to the Jenkins dashboard so here you can see we have the Jenkins dashboard you will see the message welcome to Jenkins so this way you can install the Jenkins in Linux instance which is running on AWS in my next video we will take a tour of this dashboard so stay tuned for this thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching